uh, this is Navin Ajandapa. A lot of people are asking me about this unique planetary positioning of all seven planets in the solar system lining up and visible on 25th of uh, January 2025 when this is the image that was sent to me. Unfortunately, this is a false interpretation of what it means. People, when they think about everything is going to be aligning on a straight line, they always have a misunderstanding of it is going to be on a, a single lane. But you have to understand that the alignment is visual in a three-dimensional space, like in a, a, a sphere. And uh, this is absolute wrong way of representing the planetary positions. And if you see this kind of a, a picture, it is absolutely wrong. So let me just go ahead and show you what is the current positions of each of the planets around the sun. And before that, uh, just use your common sense when you see this picture. Uh, if you are on Earth and if Sun and all the planets are aligned in this way, it is a very simple thought process that from Earth, Mercury and Venus will be in front of Sun, which means Mercury, Venus is in transit with Sun and they will not be visible, period. Then, if Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, all these planets have to align in a straight line, then the brightness of Jupiter is going to be so much that everything else is like if you are talking about a perfect straight line then everything else will be behind a uh, jupiter and mars will be just a small object in front of jupiter which will almost eventually be invisible with the brightness of jupiter so logically this formation is absolute nonsense crap and misinterpretation of the planetary positions so what is the correct positions so for that we can just go ahead and look into the current live positions of the planets across the sun so for this i'm using the, the sky live uh, website you can just go ahead and use it so here you can see that uh, center is the sun and pluto is on your right hand side neptune at a one o'clock position 11 o'clock uh, uranus saturn is at 130 jupiter is at 10 o'clock position and as i as i zoom into this uh, you will see that you see this mars is here earth venus sun jupiter I mean, Sun and Mercury, they're all, they're not in exact straight line and in the same way that you talked about. So what is currently happening is all these planets are going around in their own orbits. And because we are looking at the Sun, uh, what you see is after the sunset from the Earth, you will be able to see Venus, Mars and except Mercury, you'll be able to see almost uh, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune and then the uh, Mars and Venus. Mercury and Pluto, they are at the position where it is uh, with the Sun and they will not be visible. So now, if you join Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Earth, Venus and uh, Uranus, Neptune, I don't see any straight line. It's always going to be a, uh, it is a different line. Here it is showing me a V. So have a look at it, think about it sensibly and then make a decision. So this is not, this is not the, this is not the, straight line alignment but when you go to the night sky and you see right from west to east you will be able to see all these planets which are visible and available as of today and this will remain so for the next few days as well and there will be like a bright stars in the sky so don't get misled and this misinformation to spread across so i hope uh, you all are clear and the the image that you are going to see is the live positions of these planetary positions and the other picture that I showed you is a wrong interpretation of a straight line. I hope this is clear and this is the website that you can go ahead and look at it. Thank you. This is Navin Anjundapa. If you have any questions, you can always message me.